Good morning, good day friends. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic nutrition therapist and attuned eating expert. And on Monday we talked about how body shame, food shame, worries about all this obviously happens in relationship. We don't get shamed by a tree for what we look like. This happens in relationship with other people in proximity to that, whether it's directly at you or again, being in the vicinity of that and then basically absorbing that in. So today I want to talk about most of you here probably understand. And if you're newer to this work in this channel, you'll understand that like it takes a bit to recognize like, Hey, there's nothing wrong inherently with your body. Now you may not like what your body looks like. You may be struggling with, you know, health, concerns of some kind and we don't maybe like the situation but it's like you are not your body and your body isn't out to get you that's just not how it works what i want us all to be curious about today is if we understand that we've been shamed food and body shamed in relationship with something somebody the bigger sphere here and we know that so intellectually you know that but this is where most clients come to me because they get stuck here it's like I understand that like inherently my body isn't bad and it's like, it's just power structure structures who would have caused all this belief, all this programming, but it still feels like it's not landing for me. What I want you to think about is this, and this is your homework. So it's probably going to take you a little bit to sit down with a pen and paper and really, really be a compassionate witness to what part is holding on to the shame about what your body looks like. Okay, so here's your competent adult self, big S, and yet what part won't let you take in that you're okay? Now you might wanna work on your health or your mobility, those are separate issues, but the idea that your aesthetics are somehow inherently wrong or flawed is a story that's got shame tied with it and because we're human beings and we all want to belong, there's a part of us that isn't going to want to let go of the story. So what part in you, time, age, whatever, what part of you holds the shame around your, what your body looks like? And I'm going to do a little bonus for you too. What part holds the shame about your health? And this is a whole other video series, but I just want to give you a little bonus thing to work on is what part holds on to that it's your fault, that you're here, whatever's going on with your health, because that's such a deep and big topic that the idea that we have power to like cause us to, our health to not be great is again, more programming. And we, we really need to unpack that. So if you're struggling with doing that on your own, please reach out to me, me and my team, we're all trauma informed and, and can do a lot of work and help you around that. But this is why I'm offering this today to get you started with what part holds holds the body shame. When you know intellectually, it's just not those times anymore. We've got more resources than we did in the past, but what part holds on? Thank you all so much for watching. I would love to hear your comments if you wanna do some unpacking here with me live on, on, the, on the channel here. Um, please tag me and I will answer you and we'll, we'll contemplate together. If not, I hope you're doing really well today and I will see you in Friday's video. Bye for now.